many of you have asked me to record another conversation with Liz video. So today, it's a conversation between you and I. We're talking about a challenge I was set. I've used up-to-date modern language and hopefully you'll learn some new phrases along the way. I'll give you some of the phrases, expressions and idioms now so that you can understand them in the conversation. We'll also practice some as this is a great way to learn and remember them. Okay, so here's some of the phrases. The first one is fed up. This means annoyed, unhappy or bored with something that you feel you've accepted for too long. A common use is I'm fed up with my job. You try saying it. I'm fed up with my job. Okay, on to the next one. Budge up. This phrasal verb means to move so that there is space for you or someone else. A common use is budge up, I would have sit down. Now you try it. Budge up, I want to sit down. Oh, by the way, this is only to be used with friends, not someone you don't know. The next is the idiom. Go on then. This idiom has two meanings. In this conversation, it means the listener is asking you to continue when you've already started telling a story, but not finished. For instance, go on then, finish the story. But go on then can also mean I agree or to accept an offer. As in, would you like another drink? Oh, go on then. Right, ready for the next one? Oh, go on then. <laughs> the next one is to look like something the cat dragged in. If you've got a cat, then you'll know what I mean. When they bring something home, it's normally a half-dead looking mouse. So this idiom means that someone is either very dirty, untidy, or exhausted, or a combination of all three. Here's an example. She went to an all-night party and this morning she looked like something the cat dragged in. I think we've all felt like that at some point in our lives. <laughs> the next one is a very common phrasal verb. To put up with something or someone. Meaning to accept someone or something unpleasant in a very patient way. For example, you might say this about someone you know. How has Jan put up with him for so long? Next one, to keep a secret. This expression means not to tell anyone about a secret that you know. I think you probably knew that one. The common phrase is, can you keep a secret? In other words, if you tell someone something in confidence, you tell them something secret or private and you trust them not to tell anyone else. And lastly, a full English. This refers to a traditional cooked English breakfast consisting of eggs, bacon, sausage and tomato, mushrooms, baked beans, oh, and black pudding. Not terribly healthy. So before we start, let me just remind you how this conversation works. There are two characters, me, Liz, and Jamie. You start by reading Jamie's lines and I'll read mine. Then we'll reverse roles. I'll read Jamie's lines and you pretend to be me. Simple. Yeah, I'm not feeling well. OK, but there's not much room here. Yes, I think it's half term. It all started about a week ago. You remember Andrew, don't you? Yes, 
that's him. Well, he challenged me to eat just 500 calories a day and drink nothing but water for a week. Yep, he said if I did it for seven days, I'd feel marvellous and lose a bit of weight. I started three days ago and I feel absolutely dreadful. Thanks a lot, Jamie, but you're right. I can't put up with it any more. It's the lack of caffeine. It's given me a blinding headache and the constant hunger. Well, I can't tell Andrew I failed the challenge. So, can you keep a secret? I've just ordered a full English and a large mug of tea. <laughs> Look! The waitress is bringing it over now. Oh no! Now we change roles. I'll say Jamie's lines and you say mine. How are you Liz? You look a bit fed up. Budge up, let me sit down. Then you can tell me all about it. OK, I'll sit opposite. It's busy in the cafe today. Well, go on then. What's the matter? Oh yes, the one that thinks he's Mr Body Beautiful with all his fitness regimes. Just water? You mean no coffee? No tea? No alcohol? So how's it going? Hmm, well I'm sorry to say this but you look like something the cat's dragged in. Well, what are you going to do? So what's the plan? Yeah, of course. Uh, Liz, I think you might have a problem. Isn't that Andrew sitting in the far corner? He's staring right at you. If you enjoyed that and want more conversations, do let me know in the comments and give it a like. And for more conversation practice, go to my playlist here. Until next time, love and peace. <laughs>